All right, had another great day out on the range. This time started at 200, worked my way out to 300 on paper, and then uh, somewhere in the in the realm of either you know 350 to 400 on a steel target. Didn't have an exact range on that, but go ahead and cover the targets and uh, see how we did. All right, so here we are at 200 yards with some Black Hill 77 grain OTM. Pretty darn pleased with this group. Um, and you know it's funny because some days I'll shoot with Black Hills, I'll shoot better uh, with Black Hills, and other days I'll shoot better with Hornady. Today I happen to shoot pretty pretty good with Black Hills and was off just a little bit on Hornady. We'll get into that more later, but this is a pretty awesome group. Um, now I either had one, two, three, or one, two, three. Either way, it's well within an MOA at 200 yards. Uh, and if that was it, then that's freaking awesome. That's about half an, half an MOA. And then my second group was either one, uh, one, two, three, or one, two, three. So same thing. Either way, that's with well within an MOA. Pretty pleased. Shot really well with that. That was cold bore shot right there. That was my first group of the day, so pretty good. Now let's move on over to Hornady. For Hornady, like I said, some days I just don't shoot as good with it uh, versus Black Hill. Some days it's the opposite. Didn't shoot as good today, however, this is still a pretty decent group. Um, of course, I love shooting under an MOA, um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kick myself too hard on this one. This is likely on me. In fact, I'm pretty pretty positive it's on me because I know this ammo has shot better. But anyways, we're looking at one, two, three, and then the second group was one, two, three. So that right there, that's about at a, uh, you know, it's a minute and a quarter. And then here we have a minute and a half. So, you know, pretty, pretty decent group. I mean, I was just coming out to confirm my dope on this and practice a little bit. So I definitely did that with these two rounds. Have a good dope for 200. Um, but, you know, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm, you know, obviously need to practice and tighten up my shot group, but... I know Hornady is capable of doing better than this. It's cheaper than Black Hill, so I'm, I'm going to probably focus just on these two rounds uh, here in the future, but not bad. Now we'll go ahead and look at some Federal. So here's the Federal target, um, 77 grain. I'll, I'll put the specs down below, but um, not that great. You know, every time I shoot Federal, I've got just one or two crazy flyers. And I don't know if that's me or if that's the ammo. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm obviously not that great of a shot, even with some of this really good ammo. But um, I'm just wondering if it isn't the ammo for Federal. So I'm probably going to cancel this, even though you'll see later I shoot better with it. Um, it's just that every time I shoot with it, I just have these pulled rounds. It's also a little bit more expensive. So I'm thinking if I can shoot better with it, uh, if I can shoot better than Federal with Hornady, which is 15 bucks a box and why am I going to pay 19 bucks a box for this but I was shooting this from the bench which probably had some uh, some negative impacts because I never shoot from the bench I just couldn't see the target from the prone uh, probably gonna cancel it so moving into the 300 yard targets here's Black Hills again I had three different shot groups on here one thing I noticed is my previous uh, calculations were off I was I was you know on average probably one to three inches high. Uh, so I'm gonna have to redo the, the math on that one. But my first group was one, two, three. And you know, that's that's right at around an MOA. Um, so not too bad. Decent shot group. The next one was bad, however. One, two, three, four. That's really bad. I mean, that's, you can see that's probably five, six inches off. Um, but that's probably on me. Those two shots are probably just me pulling, pulling it. Um, did shoot a, th a third and final group, however, um, which was really good. You've got one there, there, and there, and that's pretty good. I mean, there's two inches there, and there's, you know, two and a half or so. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I mean, Black Hills definitely performed today, consistent out to 300 yards. I'm subbing my way. Um, definitely need to work on, you know, consistency because I'm shooting up here, then I'm shooting down here. So I need to work on that, but um, definitely going to keep using this round. It's pretty consistent for me. So we'll go ahead and look at the Hornady target. So here, uh, first shot group wasn't good at all. I had one here, another one here and here. So probably on me, but um, you know that's five inches or so. Not very good. 
However, I did shoot again, um, and I'm pretty sure I did miss a tar uh, miss a round. I think I just I actually hit off the paper. Um, but if you look at the rounds that made it on the paper, that's within an MOA pretty easily. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And even if I did miss and it, it went right off the paper, uh, you know, that's barely over an MOA. That's like three and a quarter, three and a, three and a half inches maybe away from this one. So, you know, that, that pulled around was on me. This group is pretty good. Definitely going to keep, keep shooting Hornady. Um, obviously, um, need to bring it up a little bit versus Black Hills. I need to get the dope, bring it back down. But pretty, pretty happy with with Hornady. Now